Welcome everyone, Kaiju no Kami here with... Crowley Kane. Privilege Bloodborne. Hey, he's actually on camera for once. It's Give him a prize for that. And it's Advent Nebula. We're going to be talking about Kamen Rider Bill that we haven't had the chance to talk about in a while and we finally just caught up on everything. So, what do you guys think about the last... How many episodes has it been since we... I was going to ask. When, I, when was I, the last... Like, 14? No. no, it was. It was it's been about. Oh, 25 or 26. It yeah. was 24, I think, was the last one. So it's been 10 uh, episodes. It's but, been really good. Yeah, it was before my favorite scene of the series right now, which was the scene when he's playing in the orchestra and you just have the wall going like boom, 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 boom. Well, boom. he made a good point. A video game reference. Which one? There were a lot of the, the tower we just did. Yep. Still my cry three right now. Yeah. And stock is Virgil. And it's been turned into a well, body swap. I guess he vault actually now. Well, yeah, yeah, he's going by his real name. That was a, that was a nice twist having him just become Evolt or uh, Banjo's body. It is kind of funny to think that the last time we did this was the end of the second arc of the series. No, we did it a little sooner. It was a little sooner, but it was literally right the then. last episode we did was right before the tower first appeared, and now we're at well, the complete tower. Well, what I mean is, we did our last video was around the, near the end of the last arc of the when show. When they were doing the tournament? And now we're doing a video at the end of the next arc of the show. Well, a lot it's of... It's like the Ark of the Covenant. A lot has Ooh. happened in these episodes. Eat this. You might go... I mean, seriously, this series... Because we've had... We had the tournament, which... <laughs> it seems like it was so long ago. That was I know. Yeah, the wow. tournament. So much has happened in ten episodes. It's one of the series that there is no... There was, like, only filler... Yeah, you had the tournament. We got tournament. two upgrades... Well, the one thing I really like about this particular arc more so than before is they're, they've been doing recaps that almost feels like they're hearkening to Deadpool with all of their fourth okay. wall breaks. Okay, I love when they did the recap for Banjo. Oh no, should we, should we say, hey, sup alien dude? Or should we say, hey man, you're inhuman. And then they, no, no, that would just be rude. And then they go and show Sento the computer. He's like, "Hey, Bonjo, it says here you're not human." Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, what any it of us really would do. demonstrates a difference between men and women. Women. Don't talk with your mouth full of food. Women take kind of like that sympathetic, empathetic approach to trying to gently ease into things. Where men tend to bulldoze their way. No, <laughs> so we're just gonna tell you like how it is. Rolling, thank you. <laughs> well, why sugarcoat it? Ooh. Why she's eating the sugar cookie? <laughs> why sugarcoat things? You need to tell them. Just do it. Get it over with. Don't don't go. Yeah. So um, that thing. You know how you kind of feel weird and have your memory gone for a little bit. Well, yeah. For a little bit, for forever. It, it kind of turns out that you maybe because of some stuff that happened with your mom. Okay. That hold up, hold up, and then um, this weird thing that happened. She was kind of infected with an alien, and it might have actually infected you. So you're not exactly um. Okay, I human. can guarantee you that no woman is gonna take that long to get to the. Point. I don't know. You don't listen to yourself, Converse. You know. That's what I think of you. <laughs> so I have to keep it somewhat PG, but... Um, but one thing I love, though, is Evolt just going off on Bonjo's entire past to him before Bonjo ends up just taking all his rage out on him. Well, it was so cool. It was an Inferno Paradise. Well, I, I'm dropping everything. That night scene was pretty awesome. Flaming it across was. the... Mm -hmm. Well, my favorite thing is... Actually, I love Crocodile's form. Crocodile. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. bum. You love having that. that. I'm surprised you didn't grab that toy. Uh, I thought about it after we started filming. Crackling has evolved a lot, and I feel sad for him so much because it's like, first he was such a legit deck, and now it's just like, aw. Oh, uh, we can't help but feel sorry for him now. Well... I will admit, the whole, everything that's going with 
um, with Bonjo, and hopefully you guys and girls, because I've been told you can't say guys, um, get over it. Have caught up to the to where everything is at, because the one really cool thing is, while it's kind of predictable of once you find out that Bonjo's not human, what are you making sure I'm not flashing everyone? No. What? Um, no. He wants his water. But I really. It was kind of predictable. You're like, oh yeah, Bond's just going to be an alien. He's going to have to go against Evolt. And then it was like kind of obvious. I'm a hot mess. What can okay. I say? Whatever. I just thought that was a little predictable, but they executed it very well. Well, it's just continuing to show that just when you think certain things are going to happen and it starts to look like it's going there, it goes, nope. Yeah, especially with uh, Bonjo now having Eve Alt in his body. Oh, I just have to say the hairdressers must be super, super, super happy with not having to braid Bonjo's hair any longer. <laughs> yeah, how long do you think that would take? Would have had to take every day. Uh. Probably not as long as like a regular makeup job. But it's still annoying when you have to do those like corn roll <laughs> braids. Because those can be difficult, especially with really fine, fine hair that most Asian, Asian people have. Wow, Asian people. I sound like that one dude that was running for Congress in like Georgia or something. China people! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> All right. What is China China, get up. Moving on. Right. Show. Okay, Focus. Asians. Show. On show. Yeah. The cast has been awesome, though. I mean, on camera. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Just ah. lay back. There. What were you gonna say? Well, the cast has grown a lot, <coughs> and uh, Evil's daughter has just gotten really trying to fix. Oh yeah, her being the Queen of Mars. Yeah, me sort of turning out to be the Queen of Mars. It's just like, okay. I thought they were well, gonna she go. She contains the Queen of yeah. Mars. I thought that she is. I thought they were gonna go one way with this, but. Where they're going with her is her power continually weakens as Evolve gets stronger. Well, I loved when she just, when in her introduction episode, when she just, like, goes like this, and you see uh, Ro Rogue and the Gear Brothers, it's like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was kind of like watching Wile E. Coyote in the old cartoons. Or, um... Pokemon. With Team Rocket. Team Rocket. Blasting off again! Where oh my god, we should so do a video <laughs> meme of that. Of just those two. Team Rocket blasting off again. But then again, Team look what... blasting off again. But then again, Grease and Rogue had it happen to them most recent episode. But Grease... Grease I, is becoming the third wheel in a way. I... Yes and no. <coughs> I do like Grease because while he's not as strong, obviously he's outmatched by the other riders currently you do feel like he at least can bring that comedic effect yeah that his character is not as obsolete as it could be it kind of reminds me of axel or excel in double, double where when you got to the later parts of the series he didn't get any more power up so he wasn't as strong as everyone as double at that time so he kind of became regulated to that. But at the same thing. time, they were only the two riders. It's not like they yeah. had four riders going yeah. on. Double wasn't. Yeah, good but too. you have. But if you think about it, you had Muscle Brain. I love you, David. Um, Muscle Brain, Science Kid, or Bill Nye the Science Guy. Um, then you had Emo, and you had originally he just had like the chip on his shoulder. Mainly because everybody killed his friends. But still, he now becomes that comic relief because he's in love with me time! Oh, that scene when he was just like thinking about, like, oh, how can I end up East by Okay, way? all I thought of was Stalker. Well, Stalker. fanboys. <laughs> fanboys are Yes! Everywhere. Fanboy. Yeah. It yeah. was. Ugh, I gotta actually something because stomach. Oh, go. Go. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. He can go. He can still talk. People can hear him. But, okay, anyway, um, 
Any thoughts of what you want to see coming up? <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to look at him and try to talk to an invisible person. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, admittedly, I just want them to keep on doing what they're doing. It's They're proving, once again, that you don't have to go overly complex to create an interesting narrative. They're keeping the story simple on the way it's going... I don't, if with it being as simple and particular as it is, I really don't see how this is going to end the way I originally envisioned it, it was going to end. Well, what I expect is that, um, what's his name? The owner. Um, oh, yes. I can't remember wow, his name. Wow, I, I can't remember his name now. But he's going to have the secret behind how to defeat Evolt since he shared minds with him. For so for ten years, so he's gonna know how to defeat him and free Bonjo. Can I say I didn't actually think that he was gonna be her father. I thought the owner was going to be me, like Mistress. just to have, Mistress adopted dad, or he kind of just kidnapped her because of the chaos. What happened? And when you when they actually confirm, no, he's her actual father. That is. I'm sorry, that is more screwed up, since I can't swear, than anything. Because where there's that bond between an adoptive parent and a child, because I have that bond with my dad, it's, it's there. But there's something so much darker about when you have a blood bond and your father just betrays everything, because I've had that too. Um, thanks, Mom. Don't collect any more dads for me. Um, <laughs> but still, I think it's just so much darker to have that happen. At least to me. I just, I feel bad because you can only think of what was going through her mind when her actual dad, not just some guy who raised her for ten years, betrays her in such a dark, and a single, and a, as a single parent too for ten years. But it does prove that in Japan, parents are like water; they just flow away. Or they're they basically what well, Japan and Disney have one thing in common: dead parents. Oh, and the I, Dead Parent Society. I actually make that joke. I I talk about that in my Sailor Moon review. With but she has parents. Ray doesn't. We never see Ray's parents. She's raised by her grandfather. Oh, and doesn't Mercury only have a mom? Yeah, as far as we know. But, that's... but then again, Jupiter doesn't have parents, and Venus doesn't have parents. Yeah. Well, Venus went to England for six months, where she met a guy, fell in love with a guy, met another friend, got jealous, and got upset because the the guy she liked actually liked the other friend, and. Okay, let me just say this that. one thing about women. We can fall in and out of love in an instant. Is there is no such thing as, like, you can go through many that relationships. That is not in actually love, months. but whatever. Um, yeah, it's. But anyway, I think this is where we should leave it for build. So until next time, bye. Should we?